Hello everyone, it's me Jenny and I am in a bit of a cosplay panic at the moment because I'm going to convention on Thursday and today is Sunday and even though I, like this is my go-to convention, I've been to it, this will be my third or fourth year going to it and it's with a group of really nice people and it's like the most chilled out convention, it's all based out of the university campus so you have accommodation and it's just very relaxed. I was planning on doing a bunch of cosplays and I completely forgot and now I've got like four days and I've got to work out cosplays to do. So I'm pretty much, I'm not going to make anything from scratch but all I want to do is revamp my pre-existing cosplays. So this might involve some editing but there we go. Um, so the one I want to work on first is my pin-up shell which um, I really really like doing. I did that a few years ago. Um, for the same convention um, and I just want to kind of update it a little bit and maybe make a few tweaks and changes here and there um, and if you haven't worked out I um, also was working through my makeup and this is my practice makeup for my shell uh, my cheesecake shell um, and um, yeah as you if you can't tell those of you who actually you know look at people wearing makeup very often I need a lot of practice my main goal is to not look like a sad clown um, but yeah this is a lot more makeup than I usually wear ever ever um, so yeah pin-up shell. So um, I've got the skirt that I made last time for it um, and my main thing that I want to do with this is I want to add pockets because it's meant to be based off she wears like um, from the waist down she wears um, a sort of um, workman's type trousers. So I want to add pockets if I can and also shorten it a little bit because it's a good length it's a good length but if I go from hip to um, over my butt, it kind of comes down to almost my knees, which given that it's meant to be a cheesecake that type thing, a little bit shorter wouldn't hurt. Um, I've got a shawl that I wore with it, um, so if you actually look at the Portal 2 art of Shell, she wears like a blue strappy top underneath her white tank top, and so I was using this last time to represent that and I just wore it like an ex-scarf. Um, I think I'll probably keep that the same, it's a good simple scarf. Um, she wears if you look at her, again, Portal 2 picture, I'll try and put it up if I remember. Um, she wears kind of like um, her blue top is kind of revealed on her waistline between her tank top and her trousers. And so I represented that with a blue ribbon last time. And I've got a little orange and a little blue side. So I think what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to keep that the same. I'm going to add some beads just to emphasize a little bit. Because um, it was a subtle little thing, but it's a little bit too subtle. Um, so I want to go slightly bigger on that. I've got my socks, um, my very very long stocking socks um, with the black stripes like the um, balancing boots thing. Um, so I want to, th those are fine, I'll keep them the same. Um, if you look at the design again of Shell from the Portal 2 thing, she wears like a bandage around her wrist. I did like a little uh, bow out of blue, uh, white ribbon. I think, again, I'll keep that exactly the same. Um, I've got my... Uh, companion cube plower which I wore in my hair with big 50s style hair um, so that will stay the same um, the main things that I want to do is I want to tweak the skirt I want to kind of up the ante on my little ends of the ribbons a little bit um, my aperture top I just want to redo that inking to make it a little bit bolder um, and you know just give it a quick kind of update if I can um, and other than that, I think I'm more or less okay. Um, if I can, I want to go shopping to buy some bigger earrings. I had these little stud earrings, one of them bright green, one of them bright bright, bright blue and bright orange, which was great. Um, but they weren't very obvious, and I've looked at some 50 style earrings, and they do like big kind of drop tier hoop earrings with like ovals as a classic 50s thing. So I want to see whether or not I can go shopping tomorrow and find some bigger earrings so that kind of orange to blue thing is a little bit more clear and uh, yeah I also if I can want to buy some bright orange and some bright, bright blue eyeshadow but then again as you can tell by my current makeupness, I'm not very good at makeup and I really don't want to look like a sad clown so I may do that I may not I feel how nervous I feel but yeah, that's the first cosplay that I'm definitely doing and I think I'm going to do that on the Thursday which is my travel day because this is a pretty comfortable outfit to travel in um, and you know it's not too kind of OTT a cosplay to travel in so I can you know get from me from here to the bus to the train to walk across Leicester in order to get to the convention um, and not feel too self-conscious but also feel like I'm in the festival cosplay 
convention atmosphere uh, from early on. So yeah, that's my first one. And we shall continue with the next one in my next video. Um, I'm also going to change the shoes. Um, I've just got some slightly less high heels, um, but slightly more, you know, nicer heels that I think would work better with the overall look, um, which I'm going to change out from my original. Um, but yeah, well, that's my plan. Um, and obviously there'll be photos and videos from the convention itself, but panic doing things. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.